Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. In a few moments, I'll get my thoughts and feelings on one of the craziest episodes of this season of Naked and Afraid. And for this video, I'll share my thoughts on the survivalists, the location of the challenge, and how the survivalists did as a team. So without any further delay, let's jump right in. The two survivalists in episode 9 are Raven and Omar. Now episode 9 is unique for two reasons. One, because it's a fan challenge, which means that instead of the challenge lasting the regular 21 days, it'll only be 14 days. And two, both survivalists for the challenge are African American, which rarely ever happens on the show. Now Raven is a cannabis cultivator who lives on an all-female farm. In other words, she's a weed-growing feminist that lives off the land at her compound. So while I believe that she came into this challenge with some mental strength to last, I wasn't sure if she would have the necessary survival skills to make it in the wild. Then there's Omar, who was an Eagle Scout and he has some basic outdoorsman skills. Omar came off as a talker and having that characteristic can be both good and bad depending on how the message is delivered. So right off the bat, I felt that there was a possibility that these two could actually do well as a team. Now the location for this challenge is in the jungles of Colombia. And just like with other jungle based challenges for the season, the abundance of rain and bugs would play an issue in whether or not the survivalists would make it to the end. Now in my episode 8 review, I claimed that the location of the challenge was the easiest for the season by far. I want to retract my statement because I believe that this location was by far the easiest for the episode. In my opinion, when it comes to the environment, the only thing the survivalists really had to worry about for this episode were the bugs. They didn't have to worry about food because the shelters were conveniently located by a lime tree, a river that's fully stocked with fish, and coconuts that just happened to be floating in the river nearby. With the amount of times that it rained during the challenge, the survivalists really never had to worry about boiling water. But let's move on to how these two did as a team. If I may be honest with all you, then let me say that this was by far the most depressing, frustrating, and strangest episodes of Naked and Afraid for the season, and there's no close second. And the worst part of it was that this happened when there were two people of color chosen as survivalists. Now as a team, I'll say that for 95% of the challenge, they were pretty bad at working together. And if I'm being unbiased in my assessment, then I have to say that both were at fault for why they largely failed to work as a team. I think with Omar, his biggest downfall was his ego. He knew that he was the most experienced survivalist on the team, but some of his decisions lacked logic and he refused to follow Raven's lead at some points. Raven, on the other hand, was difficult from the start to finish. She tried to call Omar out on talking over her, but she had the same issues, and Raven frustrated Omar to the point where he felt the need to build another shelter for himself after spending much of his energy helping build the first one. I was proud of Omar for swallowing his pride and helping Raven out with food and sharing his knife with her, because I truly believe that Raven would have starved before she reached out to Omar for anything. So I was glad that they finally decided to work as a team to get to their extraction point, but it was sad that they couldn't work together much sooner than that. But if I had to give this episode a rating, I would give it a C-. I wasn't a big fan of the constant bickering between Omar and Raven, and I strongly believe that the show put these two folks near a place that made hunting and gathering pretty easy from a basic level. But this sparks the end of my review. If you have any questions or comments related to the review or the episode, feel free to leave them below in the comment section and I'll reply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.